from financial services you have worked for fintech companies india's fintech ecosystem is among the largest in the world we do over 100 billion transactions on just digital payments on a monthly basis <coughs> size of the industry is growing exponentially hmm. tell me what keeps you awake at night from a compliance perspective i could like to add that indian india law or law or regulation applicable in india are are complex because there is a state central then local and again there is a supreme court we are a common law country so i don't know how many of us know that last year in may 2023 supreme court has given a judgment related to guidelines under the pos prevention of sexual harassment even those following those things are part of a compliance so not only the state local law we have to keep touch with the court judgments so that there are certain like related to the labor laws a judgment or other common law judgments where the uh, court itself is proceedings or ex- uh, are expecting certain acceptance in from these companies again i am i will emphasize on director as manju touch nowadays as directors are like whether is companies act or listed company or private company directors are onerous to us all the compliances so if you ask me if it's an listed and independent directors are on board or investor nominated director they are really very demanding and very s- serious about the compliance part so they if you have a i definitely uh, agree that we need to have this compliance tool management across your organization because as a compliance officer company secretary i am supposed to give a compliance certificate to the board the manual thing the, where as manju said two years three years back we used to get those certificates from a uh, manually excel sheet data that that in today's world the changing world can't sustain you can't have that 100% compliance and i through my personal experience i can tell you directors in the board meeting ask us to give us the real time basis update of compliances they will ask us to log into admin system show me what is the status of the compliances in the system why it is not compliance so and uh, as a company secretary i am responsible they will check what corrective measures you have te- taken or what corrective measures you have taken to take an update from them i agreed you are not supposed to do the compliance but you are a uh, you can say you are the admin or you are the responsible to make sure that compliances are in place and again second thing is like having the tool is like as a l- lawyer or as a legal counsel is not i am not well i may know the compliances i may not know exactly what has to be comply or what are the penal provision so having this tool management tool kind of thing at one click i know the content what exactly has to be done what is the penal provision and what are the seriousness all about about um, labor law i totally agree it's very dynamic and complex uh if you have a factories like manju has a factory uh like best of luck to her to because it has own course like uh, other set of compliances like may as as you also majorly uh, like you stated most of the chunks from labor law small small thing so companies act to kar lenge sir hum companies se kar lenge sebi kar lenge rbi rbi ka thoda bahut complaints kar lenge but jab labor ka aata hai is like and again in labor minimum wages like each state notify different set of minimum wages if you have factory in more than five state so you like it's a tedious or you can say a tremendous job on company secretary to make sure to update those to hr guys and make sure that you are complying on day one because those notification come generally the labor department two days three days before they notify it is effective from 1st of april so lot of things coming to the fintech so uh, i have like again worked in in the manufacturing industry specifically to the uh, medical device so there are complex uh, um, uh, regulations not only the uh, ministry again the regulatory that is ehs related law environmental taking epr certificates and we have found out that lot of time government notifies but implementation is not at ground basically and that is the tough job for us because management is expecting us to give in white and black what is has to be done they don't expect that chalta hai no certificate lena hai nahi lena hai tum batao you are a lawyer 
you tell us what does the law say and so, sometimes it happen that law does not give the clear idea and we when we approach regulatory guys we have found out that at least i have found out that these guys are not updated or upgraded and it's become tough to get a clear answer from them 